Hi and welcome to this tutorial. Here I'm going to be showing you how to import live stock quotes into Excel using um, Yahoo Finance and then use that information to calculate the total value of your portfolio within Excel. So the only information you have to actually change or add is how many shares of any particular stock you actually own. So what I've got here is the name of the first stock that we're going to import and um, so let's pretty much go ahead and do that. All we have to do, basically I'm going to be showing you how to import the data from the web. In a previous tutorial I showed you how to get it from um, existing connections like this and MSN Money Central, investor stock quotes. Here we're going to do it our own way, make it a little bit more custom so we can get all the info we want. So go to the data tab, make sure you've selected the cell where you'd like the stuff to import. Then in the get external data box, select from web. Click that box. You'll get this little Excel web browser that pretty much goes to your home page. Then type finance.yahoo.com. In this little box right here, type the ticker symbol or the name of the company whose stock quote you'd like to import. We're going to do Google at first. Now if you get a little runtime error when you do that, don't worry about it. It's really just because this browser is um, from Excel and it's not the best browser so try not to worry about that. Now when you get here you're going to see a bunch of stock data and you may want to import this stuff because it looks good right? You get all kinds of information. The problem however is if you read this little note down here quotes are delayed except where indicated otherwise. Um, so the only place where you actually have the live stock quote here is right here but we can't import that. So what you have to do to get the live stock quote from Yahoo Finance is in the left hand column it says real time right underneath the summary. So real time, click that. Now we can see the real time quotes. See this is a free real time quote. And there's a little black arrow and a yellow box next to it. That means we can import it. All you have to do, click the arrow, it'll turn into a check mark, and then all of the data that's highlighted in blue like this is what's going to be imported into Excel. And you can see there are five separate rows that are going to be imported. Now if you'd like to import any other data from Yahoo Finance, in a, a previous tutorial I did the um, historical stock returns, just select anywhere you'd like to go over here, and if it has a, a yellow box with a black arrow, you can import it. So once you've selected what you want, click the import button. Now here, the first thing to do is make sure you're going to import the data where you want. By default, it will be the cell you selected before you uh, started to import the data. If it's a different cell, just click somewhere else. The next thing you want to do is click the properties button. This is pretty important. So um, up here in the query definition, leave that alone. In a, in a different tutorial, I unchecked it. All this means is if you uncheck it, the data is not going to refresh. If I leave it checked, the data is going to refresh. Now go down to refresh control. Since I want to get live stock quotes, I want to get refresh as uh, often as possible. So here it's going to be one minute. So I'm going to check that box and input one for one minute. The next thing that I personally like is to refresh the data when opening the file. So I'm going to check this box. All that means is every time I open up Excel, well, I want my portfolio data to be as up to date as possible. So refresh it when I open it. The next thing um, that I like to do is to uncheck adjust column width. That's because when the data imports, if you leave that checked, it's going to automatically resize the columns where it, uh, to which it imports, and um, it can mess up your formatting and just be really annoying. Um, one note on this screen for refresh control. If you have a large amount of data being refreshed every one minute, say 50, 100 stocks, and it turns out to be 1,000, 50,000 cells, um, so if you have a, a large amount of data refreshing, it will slow down your computer if you don't have a very fast computer with a fast internet connection. So just note that if um, it's slowing down your computer too much to refresh every one minute, you can change it to, say, 10 minutes. So once we've selected, uh, got all the settings the way we want, go ahead and click OK. We don't have to worry about this, by the way, in the very bottom, not for this tutorial. 
So click OK. Query with this name already exists because I've been working in this worksheet, so I'm going to rename it. Click OK. Click OK. And there we go. So we can see that all of the data has imported. It's actually really cool. And this that I just highlighted is going to update every one minute. The most important part obviously being this last trade. Now one thing that I have to show you, I was talking about if it refreshes every one minute it slows down your computer too much, change the refresh rate from one minute to 10 minutes or 30 minutes. Well, how do you do that? Okay, so all you have to do to change any of the properties associated with this data is to highlight that data, right click it, select data range properties. Then this window, which we were just on, shows up. So I can change the refresh rate, I can change it so it'll stop importing. Um, but that's how you get back to this screen. So I'll show you one more time. You want to edit uh, how often this imports or what happens to it when it imports. Select the data, right click, go to data range properties. Edit everything you need to on this window and click OK. Now all that's left for you to do, input how many shares you own of the stock. Let's say you've got a lot of shares, got a ton of money, so you own 10,000 shares. Now I want to calculate, well, how much is that in dollar value? So simply times shares owned by last trade. Now, down here, I have three other stocks, Citigroup, Bank of America, and Yahoo. And I've done the same thing to each one of them. Now, once you have all the stocks in your portfolio within your spreadsheet, you can do two more things which are really helpful. Calculate the portfolio value and the weighting of that stock. So the portfolio value, all I did was sum up column E because the only data I have in column E is dollar value data for the stocks. If you um, wanted to, I could have just done E2 to E700 instead of the entire column. That works better in previous versions of Excel. Um, but otherwise, yeah, so I just summed column E and got the dollar value. Now the next thing you want to do is get the weighting. It's very important to know um, what percentage a particular stock makes up of your portfolio to know if you're underweight or overweight stocks or sectors within uh, your portfolio. So you can see it's updating now. Anyway, so for weighting, all you have to do is divide your dollar value in the stock by the total portfolio value. Then turn the cell to format it as a percentage and you get the percentage weighting. So that way you'll know that you're way overweight in Google stock and uh, actually probably overweight in some of these other stocks because these three are not ones you'd want to be holding right now. But anyway, that's pretty much it for how you can import data into Excel. And it's live stock quotes, but due to the limitations of Excel, it's going to import every one minute. Uh, or that's the, the best you can get it for. Um, then all you have to enter is your shares owned. Make sure your shares owned is up to date. And then every one minute throughout the day, no matter where you are, as long as you have this spreadsheet, you can figure out how much your stock is worth in a particular company and for your entire portfolio. You don't have to log into a brokerage account or call anyone or enter sensitive information. Simple spreadsheet that's versatile and you can carry around with you anywhere. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. And if you'd like to get this workbook, go to teachexcel.com, search for the tutorial, and you can download it there.